people need education then to yeah, I, I, we are coming up um, Detroit Detroit to Rotten there are so many factories for four wheel vehicle and there is no factory to educate man to the right path but I'm this is our little attempt, this Krishna consciousness movement, how to educate to the right path. So we are not getting any help either from the authority in our own way. As far as possible, we are doing. When people will be educated, they will be able to understand who is Guru, who is not Guru. We can say, but who is going to accept? We say always that they are all rascals, but who will accept the rascals? And the state, the Advanced Department, to see uh, what is the qualification of Guru, the need is the second step. That I keep Krishna's time. One man falsely presented himself as God. Immediately his head was cut up. Pondu. So the state must be very strong to punish the miscreant when there is no such thing. This man, Sun Young Moon, claims to be the Messiah, the Jesus Christ for the Lord. So it is the duty of the Christian, but they are also, what can I say, <clears throat> that passing resolution according to the time, changing the destruction of Bible. So how they can be fixed up? The Our standard is Bhagavad Gita is telling. <coughs> we accept Guru as representative of Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. If he speaks what Krishna has spoken, then he is Guru. Similarly, in Christianity, if they actually take care that whether one is speaking according to the Ten Commandments, he is living according to the, the rules and regulations of the Ten Commandments, then he is good. So why people accept them? Because they are in ignorance, they do not know. We yell or we speak. But the standard is there. Take, for example, in the Bible, it is <coughs> said, Thou shalt not kill. But everyone is killing. Killing is the business of the Christian. They are maintaining big, big shutter. We are maintaining cows here. And there are others who are mentioning cows for certain point. So this commandment, so this clear, he says, the cows shall not kill. And how they will detect? If they are violating themselves, the law, how they will punish the lawbreaker? Physician is also. The physician himself is diseased and is going to treat other patients. So they all just continue in a circle to mm -hmm. break their own lives. Can we then? Would it help if someone 
took the Bible and wrote a Vaishnava purport or tried to simplify it so that people could understand it. Language is difficult for the common man now to understand. And that we are spreading a Krishna consciousness moment is that you have what Krishna or God says, that's all. In our Bhagavad Gita and the Guru's description is there. Who is Guru? Read the fourth chapter. Our this all literature. Simply Guru and disciple. One is instructing and one is giving. From uh, four one, mm-hmm. Sri Bhagavan Vacha, Imam Vashvate Yogam Proktavana Hamavyam, Vivishvan Manave Praha, Mano Itvakave Brabit. Blessed Lord said, I instructed this imperishable science of yoga to the sun god Vivashvan, and Vivashvan instructed it to Manu, the father of mankind, and Manu in turn instructed it to Itvaku. So Krishna is that to the sun god. Sun god in the structure is his son. Mono, he in the his son. He kaku, in this way, things are coming. Then the second prayer. Evam parampara praptam imam rajis over the sakalina mahata yoga nashta parantapa. This is supreme science was thus received through the chain of disciplic succession, and the saintly kings understood it in that way. But in course of time the succession was broken, and therefore the science as it is appears to be lost. The succession was broken. Mm. Mm. So similarly, Christ says something. So if that commandment is received by succession, then it goes nicely. But if you break it according to your necessity, then where is the authority? No. No use if, if you have the information, if you have the rules there, the laws there, to, to be passed, and someone forgets them. It's just sin. No, they are passing resolution. Mm-hmm. Suppose there is a law in the state, ordinary, say, keep to the right. And in this village, all members. They assemble together and pass a resolution that no, keep to the left. Will it be accepted? Even they pass the resolution, the state will not accept. Unless it is, of course, there should be no change by anything spoken by God or His Son. Or is it that cannot be changed. It is not that Christ said two thousand years ago, Thou shalt not kill. Now it can be changed. That is Askarna. That being that. Then I'm, if you do that, then as it is said here, then it becomes lost. Then there is no meaning. If we take the instruction of God and his representative as temporary, then he is not representative, he is not God. What a man is spoken by God and his representative, uh, that is eternal. You cannot change by your whims. But that is going on. We, I do not wish to discuss very much, but that is actually going on. Mm-hmm. 
people on the by votes in the parliament, they pass any nonsense thing. So they want to do that in the case of Bible law. Then where is the authority of Bible? He, Christ says that thou shalt not kill, and he, people, say ten thousand people in a meeting, pass the resolution, no, this is wrong. Then where is the authority of Bible? Then you become authority. In the Bible, the beginning of it says that uh, God created the heavens and the earth, and yet they say, give the description in Genesis as the way God created the heaven and the earth. Does this not conform with Brahma's work? Yes. God has created everything. Uh, just like father, son, and the mother. Mother gives birth to the son. When the mother is impregnated by the father, this is the law. Everyone knows. Now you can see that so many trees are coming from earth. Is it not? Trees and plants and grass. And we eat them, we leave. Therefore, the earth is mother. And the children are so many. Uh, the plants are about two million types of plants. Then there are insects, reptiles, then um, beasts, then man in this way. There is so many living entities. The living entities are produced from the earth. The earth is the mother, and the living entities are the sons. And where is the father? A simple thing, why do they not inquire? Where is the father? Krishna? Yes. Krishna, God, or whatever you speak, there must be father. You cannot say that these children, the offsprings are coming automatically. Then you are a fool if you say like that. And that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Find out this word. Sarva Jodi Sukhanti or Sambhavanti Mutraya Kasan Mahajani Brahma. Ahama Bhi Jopada Pita. Sarva Yona Sukhanti Amutaya Sambhavanti Ya Tasam Brahma Mahajani Ahama Bhi Jopada Pita. It should be understood that all species of life, O son of Kunti, are made possible by birth in this material nature, and that I am the seed-giving father. So how can I deny God? How can you deny your father? If you say, I'm not seeing my father, that doesn't mean you have no father. Ask your mother, she will reply, yes, you have to your father. So the argument is forwarded that we cannot see God, therefore there is no God. This rascal argument is being forwarded. Because you are speaking, you are existing, that must be father. That is conclusion. Without father, 
there would have been no possibility of your existence. You are speaking, talking so loudly, there is no God. This is going on. Because I do not see God, therefore there is no God. So many people call themselves Christians, they still try to deny God. Not only Christians, the whole world is now like that. Religion has become a subject matter of lucky. If one is God conscious, religion is considered fool number one. Not very much advanced, especially the scientists, the rascal scientists. And they will bluff you in so many ways that life is produced from chemical. And when we challenge them that you make a little egg with chemical <coughs> and put it in the incubator, a leg like one. What is the answer? The so called scientists who say that life is made by combination of chemicals. Anyone can see the composition of a, a little white and yellow substance. There are many chemicals, they are all white, and there are many chemicals, yellow also, combined together. And put it under the water and see if the chicken is coming or not. And still they will assert, big, like big, big books, that life is coming out of him. And people are accepting this bluff. So it is very precarious condition of the present world. People want to be bluffed, and there are many bluffers. And they are satisfied that I am bluffed by a big bluff. This is one. These scientists speak about making life of chemicals, yet none of them have even been able to begin their experiments. They can claim... I therefore say, begin they with a small claim. egg, yeah. then talk of big, big things. Mm. They can make one chemical which leads the life, but not more. Not only that, if, if you are a sane man, you analyze your body and find out what is life. Beginning analysis in the breathing. You take, now a man is dead. Somebody says, now, because his breathing is stopped, therefore he's dead. So what is his breathing? It is simply a little air. So put some mess in. And the air may come and go. And give him life. And take anything, breathing, then you take blood, then you take skin, then you take muscle, then you take bone, then take your stool, urine, find out life. Is it possible? Then why do you say that life is a combination of things? And you take this blood, urine, and stone, and uh, it's called bone, and muscle, and ear, what is combination, and produce another man. So they are talking this nonsense, and nonsense people are And they are being paid for high salary for talking this nonsense at the cost of the taxpayer. Yeah. 
they profit and no one else does. And they are going to the moon planet, Mars planet and bring in some dust. Mm -hmm. They try to keep the people busy by showing them yes. the other planets. And by, by busy means they can show all this uh, black busy program to the rascals, not to the same men. Could you tell us a little about your spiritual master's life? I've never heard anything. This is spiritual master, one who is the prince that you have got, and one who speaks what God has said, then he is spiritual master. I have never heard anything of Śrīla Bhakti Siddhānta, and I wondered if you would tell me a little bit about him, if you would. What shall I say? He was my spiritual master, and whatever he taught, we are speaking, that's all. We don't talk any nonsense. That's all I have to ask you. Thank you for allowing me your time. I've I, I waited very long to see you. Thank you for your time.